So I'm going to give you 470 euro to apologise to Patrick back there about my, uh, uh, my abuse. However, I will say this. I really, really, really was really, really shocked how people can actually think the reason Lion King gets less and everything is because it's been in the vault. Imagine yourself being a disc, being chucked in the vault until you become a Blu ray copy of yourself and a DVD. This is why it's cheaper and the extras are still on there, but the reason the extras are still on there is because of copyright issues and stuff. Um, the reason Morning Report got taken off was because the fan base didn't like it and they wasn't getting any money for it. So, you know, yeah, I guess, you know, the reason they did that was because of copyright issues because there's not a lot of fans like Morning Report. And the fact is, there's plenty of songs as it goes through, you know, like, there's like a Matata, I Can't Wait To Be King, and all the other songs. That's the reason why they didn't like Morning Report, because most people didn't grow with it. Uh, you probably didn't do that because of a certain reason, because uh, of copyright. Um, yeah. But it's, as for um, uh, YouTube, I was correct about that, I don't know what I'm saying, Patrick, but a way to go, you know, we could have found out. say, he was pretty good. I will really take back of saying that he was gay and all that. I think that was just me being a bit stupid there. And maybe I actually went a bit too far. All I was meant to say is, why did he buy a Blu ray copy um, when he didn't like it? And people who don't buy the Blu-ray copy or the Diamond Edition, you're missing it out on the original theatrical version of it that originated as a Lion King. And yes, they have brought back the original ideas. And this was due to the copyright of Lion King and everything else that Lion King started for. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog was one of my favourite cartoon characters of all time. And uh, yeah, you know, Adventures of was basically my favourite, in my opinion. And Sonic Underground were to be my other favourite. Sonic the Hedgehog, I think, was overrated. But yeah, I really do like the cartoon. I just, it's like they the Super Mario's of Sonic's world. You know, it's just weird. Um, but it is good how they do it. Yeah, I agree. I agree on certain terms of uh, they, um, the reason people don't like more, uh, Morning Report and the ones who do are literally going against the Diamond Edition. And this is people who don't agree where they've been released. I, on the other hand, believe that the Blu-ray copy is good. And the reason why Morning Report was taken from me was due to the copyright. So yeah. Another topic about Power Rangers. I just had somebody on YouTube say to me that it's not because of Tommy not getting, you know, not becoming good. It's nothing to do with that. How is it nothing to do with that? If you think about it, Rita Reposa was jealous over his power and think, where did he get his powers from in Green with Evil? If you watch Green with Evil and watch the Green Candle series, you know where he was brought up. He was brought up with being evil and then he became good as soon as Jason destroyed the Tiger Curse spell. The spell. However, it didn't, it didn't fully kill his curse, so he was cursed as the Green Ranger. Just like Sanaku in uh, Power Ranger Wild Force, you know, Merrick turning into Sanaku. And, uh, yeah, so it's basically like he was cursed, but he was able to become good. It's basically the same with Dino Thunder. They always find a way to turn the Power Rangers good, no matter who they are. You know, in, in Power Ranger Ninja Storm, they was like evil rangers of themselves. 
and then they had to fight them because they was under the spell and then they turned them good and they even said I don't know what happened to us oh yeah and, um, and yeah basically you're on about kids programs not being able to be suited for that uh, UK comic books um, not pretty many have been sold you know in issues and um, I think it's pretty annoying not to see um, videos being made um, of Sonic X like there's only like Warner Bros uh, went in with um, four kids and made Sonic X have only two episodes on DVD is that one way of saying it? Might as well have Pokey Pig going, that's all you're getting, folks. Because that's all we get in. I mean, goodness sake, if I was in the UK and I, I literally seen these box sets that they was trying to bring out, I'd fight for it, the campaign for it. And I'd say, look, I can understand, but why doesn't it get licensed by Jetix? and then brought out as a complete box set of Sonic X. All the Sonic X DVD boxes then would be, would, it, I wish I could bring it out myself, and everybody had a chance to get it in the UK. And then there was the Region 1 version, where it was the same, but it had fan art on there for the American ones, and we had free stickers. Now the reason I like Sonic the Hedgehog DVDs is partly because of the free stickers. Now I'd love to see him try bring out a DVD box it of Sonic X and giving us Sonic X stickers to say that we they are sorry, maybe to add an extra twenty pound anniversary to it, um, of Sonic and put Sonic X, congratulations, you have bought Sonic Generations, you get so much discounts off. And that's another thing about it. Another rad. What I want to see, um, well it's not rad, it's a complaint. I'd like to see a DVD box set or complete series of Sonic X in the UK. I also like to see in the UK um, a DVD box set of Inspector Gadget, the complete series, and the complete series of other DVDs like um, Power Rangers, you know, Might Morphin to. Yeah, what was the latest one? RPM, I believe, or was it. Um, there was one called RPM, but then there was another one, Samurai. Power Ranger Samurai, we go in cars. No, we don't. We go in Megasaurs. Wait a minute. No, which one is Power Ranger Samurai? Which one is RPM? <laughs> nah, you know which one's RPM. The silly, silly music thing. It didn't get that like, catchy as much as MMPR did. My Morphin Power Rangers. So that's why they bring it out. Uh, Power Rangers, um, but I'm hoping to see a DVD box set of Power Rangers Samurai in the UK. My Morphin, I'd like to see all the complete box set or every series out. Series 1, Series 2, Series 3 of My Morphin Power Rangers, Series 4, 5, 6 and whatnot until there's no end, there's no end of them. So yeah, my favourite would be the Wild Force because Wild access, you know, select like the Wild Force ones. They sure do be Mike Morphins for some reason. I, think, I don't know. It seems that way. Um, yeah. If I was to say so, though, people call in my favorite Blue Ranger, Mike Morphin Power Rangers, you know, the character. He didn't deserve to be treated the way he was. I mean, it was my favorite Blue Ranger. Okay, and it, they're all great in Power Rangers, but come on, Davy Yoss was Peter the baddest in it, wasn't he? I mean, show a little respect for the guy. Bulk and Skull were also legends, but they were treated like fools because those the way they were. And I feel sorry for them because, I mean, the fact is, they, they seem famous enough and they don't seem to be picked on anymore. They seem to be left by many of my fans, which I hope they got a lot of fans, but especially now anyway. And that's another thing I'm going to bring up about uh, 
DVD box sets I want to see completely out. Back here, um, yeah, I want to see that because of Jenny, because Jenny's my favourite female cat. I always get jealous every time the boy gets, every time she kisses that little kid. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> she kissed him! <gasps> I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what else is it? Um, I want to see a box set out of Heathcliff, a uh, complete series, and I want to see a complete series of uh, I don't know what else was my childhood. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Yes, I want to see a complete series of that. Uh, if it can't do it, I'm going to be really upset because Gadget in a red dress, that's what I want to see in this series. Is oh, she's really attractive. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'd like to see a DVD box in a complete series of SWAT cats. I mean, they were my favorite and I like it, so yeah. What I'm going to say is, not everybody likes being called over. Now I kind of found out that somebody questioned why I shake a lot. Well, the reason I shake a lot, and it was on a comment, so I'm going to put it through. The reason I shake a lot is because I'm born with it. I mean, have you noticed why people actually have shakes? Um, Everyone has them. So, they commented me this question, why do you shake? This is the answer. Because I was born with tremors, I was born with a certain tremor, but not bad as that, but I had shakes when I was young, and I, you know, I was brought up, you know, not getting used to certain things I handle it with. Like I can't handle a glass and I can't handle a cup tidy where I put water in the cup and with the drink I always got up hell with a stroke so I'm handicapped in that way. Well, not completely but a little. So that's why I got up a straw in the glass um, because I can't lift the glass up on its own in case someone startles me. And it's the same with a cup of coffee, you know, I go to go to the tap, fill it up with water, just bring it and then drink it. So yeah, I have certain disabilities about myself, so yeah. But I do get helped a lot, so it's really helpful. Notice I'm wearing my uh, Gaiva t-shirt. Gaiva by Wooster Armour. I had to lift it up then because the camera will not go any lower. Because it's on a tripod and I want to make it steady. So, what do I say about my shakes? Well, I was brought up like that. I was made fun of. Now, my dad would tell me the same thing. He was brought up like it. And I, my dad was, my dad had shakes. You know, really bad shakes, but you don't let it get to him. Why should it let it get to me? If you can't get to him, you can't get to me, and then know what? Because you know people make a fuss over this question. So the question is: Were you born with shakes? Did you have certain travellers? And if so, then basically you just can't help yourself. Basically. So yeah, sayonara, muchas gracias. And all good things to say goodbye with. I hope you understand this question, which is an answer in this question, that I was born with shakes. So yeah, sign out of Muchis Grasses and all good things to say goodbye with.